extend your hand, your heart, your whole life to the needy, to those who are suffering in various ways. Compassion is the vaccine to the every cure of isolation and rejection. Dear friends, in today's liturgy, we get inspiration from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 4. It is about the lepers. The lepers in Jesus' time were considered outcasts, rejected. They were outcasts in economic terms. They were economically rejected, socially rejected, religiously rejected, humanly rejected. They were like not even human beings. Just to see them was a threat to the rest of the humanity because people fear the contamination. Leprosy was a contagious disease. It would contaminate others. Nobody wanted to be with the lepers. Lepers did not only suffer from isolation, how they were rejected economically, socially, religiously, and even humanly rejected because that's the most painful Thing that could happen to any human being when you feel rejected, when people who love you run away from you. That is the most painful thing. So they were not only rejected economically and socially, but they were also feeling a heavy pain physically. They were feeling the pain. So they were not only physically feeling pain, but they're also rejected by the people who are supposed to love them. How it would feel, my brother, my sister. Let's put ourselves in the hands, in the lives of these lepers and feel the suffering humanity today. There are many people today who are rejected and isolated. Lepers were considered unclean, dirty, and dangerous to be with them. And whoever was with them was like being dead because the lepers were considered like dead. So you yourself being with them, associating with them is like you are looking for death. So better you keep away from death. That is the social rejection. That is the human rejection that the lepers felt. And that is the rejection that we could give others if we reject them and if others also reject us. To be in contact with the lepers was a sign that you are going to die like they are going to die soon because there was no medicine which was discovered for lepers at that time. It was like during the, our COVID times, no, in the COVID pandemic, COVID-19 times, where people were just dying because of isolation. There was contagiousness and there was no medicine at that time. And whoever was in contact with a COVID patient risked to die. And so this was like the time of lepers. Process. How painful it could be for the person himself, but also the people around them. Are we the reason why people feel welcomed and happy and healed? Or were the reasons why people really feel discouraged and painful in life? Are we part of the solution or we are always part of the, solu the problem? There's some people who are always a problem everywhere. Wherever they go, there are problems. And there are people where, who are always a solution, who look at the positive side of life, that even if they go in a situation which is challenging, they will find a positive way of looking at that challenging situation. Let's be positive. Let's be people who look at the positive side of whatever happens in our life. Not because everything is okay, but even when everything is not okay, what is good about that which is not okay, about that bad situation, that bad person? What is good about it? There is something, if you stop a bit and pause and reflect there's something to learn in every situation the presence of the leper was very risky that's why social distancing keeping a distance from them was the safest way to keep away from that dangerous disease just imagine, dear friends, put yourselves in the place of the leper. Imagine you're a leper and people are distancing themselves away from you. They see you, they run away. Actually, lepers used to have even bells. Whenever they would hear that the, the bell, they are coming, they, they come with bells ringing and you meaning keep a distance. How would you feel when you are rejected, when you are abandoned and when you are left alone there? That's the most painful thing. And that's when we feel like this, we should be more concerned about the many people who suffer rejection, the children, the old aged people who were there for us and now we are not there for them. This is the most painful thing that would happen to any aged person because today they are old. Tomorrow you'll be old. How would you feel when others reject you? How would you feel deep in your heart as a human being when you reject others? Am I one of those who 
keep others away from me. I ignore others. I reject others. Oh, I'm one of those who welcome others as they are. And together we journey to make this world a better place. I love what Jesus did in today's gospel. He allowed himself to be moved from their heart. He put himself in the shoes of that leper who needed help, who was isolated. He was moved with compassion and he stretched out his hand to reach out to the leper. To touch the leper, to touch the untouchable. Do we open our heart to fill with others and stretch our hands, our hearts, our lives to reach out to those who are suffering or we close up ourselves and we close our hands too? Jesus knew that touching a leper will make him unclean, will make him sick will make him socially unfit but his compassion his kindness his love is more powerful than any form of sickness his love heals his compassion heals dear friends when we are loving towards others we heal them when we are compassionate and we feel with others we heal them when we are kind with our words and action we heal others especially those who are broken hearted we reunite their wounds and heal them and they have life in full and in abundance thanks to our kindness to our love to our hand our hearts which have been extended to those who are in need these days dear friends we don't have this kind of leprosy anymore yet countless number of people suffer rejection isolation people are marginalized because of status because of their education status their power because of of of, of because of language of tribe because i'm from here you are from there we are isolated instead of looking at each other as brothers and sisters we reject others because they are male or female or young or old or because they are of this type and the other type and they are not like me we reject others and this is a kind of leprosy whenever we reject others we ourselves are spreading that disease of leprosy and we shall be responsible for the harm that that disease causes to the people around us maybe you are one of those who are feeling this rejection and isolation or maybe you are the reason why others are rejected you are the one rejecting others my brother my sister if you are rejecting others stop it Embrace others, welcome others, be hospitable, be welcoming, welcome others as they are. And together, let's journey to see that we make this world a better place. Let's heal each other. The journey of healing of a leprosy is when they feel welcomed and integrated. Let us integrate and include everyone, not exclude everyone. Because excluding someone is killing that person slowly by slowly. Unfortunately, the rejection could be has between husband and wife who use their energy to reject each other to because they we, I don't think like you, you don't think like me. Small things and they reject each other. They burn their minds, their hearts, their calories, their energies onto some things they could have avoided. Even on something they could have left go. And they, instead of using that energy, that strength, that life to build each other, they use it to destroy each other and to reject each other. It is so painful if it happens between husband and wife. Please Please heal those wounds immediately before it is too late if you are a husband and wife. This rejection could be between parents who are ignoring their parental caring, protecting responsibilities towards their children. There are some parents who give birth to children and they just abandon them. Or it could be even the children who are rejected their, rejecting their parents and yet they forget that children are who they are because of the sacrifices of the parents who gave the best for they themselves. Or it could be among friends, people who make our life beautiful and nice and we end up rejecting them, especially after they have been with us, sharing whatever they could with us, the good things with us. They have made us who we are. We are who we are because of the many people around us. Let us never reject them. Let's never isolate them. Let us always be people who will come others as they are, whether they are young or old, whether they are small or not, whether they are of this tribe or the other tribe, from this country or the other country, from this language or the other language, we embrace everyone. We are universal. We are Catholic. And the word Catholic means universal. We embrace all as we are and we journey together in our joys and also in our challenges together with God and with each other, but never alone. There is so much rejection happening these days, dear friends, even though there is no leprosy like it was at Jesus' time. 
the leprosy of rejection, ab abandoning, exclusion, instead of including and hospitality and welcoming in a family spirit, in a community spirit, as brothers and sisters with the same father and the same mother. Mother Mary, and together with God our Father, who considers us as his children, each one of us created in the image and likeness of God. The invitation is that we all need to stretch our, our hands and our hearts towards the needy, those who are challenged with the challenges and pressures of this life. Those who are pressed down, we are invited to come down to their level and uplift them so that they can also enjoy living as children. We are reminded that compassion is the cure to so many isolations and rejections today. If people are isolated, to cure them, we have to be compassionate, to feel with those who are suffering and to help them, to, to feel with them, to be empathetic and also sympathetic, to be there, to feel with them so as to help them, to be in solidarity with them. And sometimes it's just a matter of presence and also extending a hand. We have a lot it takes to help each other, even if we don't have much material aspects which are also good we can even pray for them we can extend our hand but our prayer should lead to good actions towards the person who is there sharing our own time sharing a kind word using good words good actions these are moments that can heal those who are broken-hearted those who have a leprosy of being feeling rejected a kind word a kind action a good deed we see how the leper requested for for healing but jesus gave him a double dose of cleaning he made him clean but the leper's attitude is a beautiful way of praying he says if you wish lord make me clean meaning that it's not about my wish but it's about god's wish meaning i do what i can in my situation even to the point of crying out and then i let god according to his time in his own way to heal me in his own way Many of us are healed, but we are not cleansed, we are not cleaned. In order to complete this process of healing physically, we need the spiritual healing where we confess, where we reconcile with God, each other, and selves. Sometimes we are healed, but our minds, our hearts, our lives are, are still that. They need cleansing. That's why in order to be completely healed from inside ourselves, we need to speak to God and ask humbly forgiveness from Him through the sacrament of reconciliation so that He can make us be at peace with Him, with others, and with ourselves. Blessings and greetings from Salvation's Kremis and Bethlehem.